At present days, the evolution of apartments, especially in India, it's growing enormously. One can see that on the other hand, the need of laborers to pay in these high-rise apartments is also increasing enormously. So, to overcome this, we have come to a uh, conclusion that we have finally built up a robot which is nothing but a colobot where colo stands for the color and the bot stands for the device. Our device, this colobot, can paint the high-rise apartments at any angle irrespective of the type of the surface. And uh, here this, the, this following pic shows that what are the difficulties faced by the painters when they are painting at the high-rise buildings. Even though they paint these high-rise buildings, it's like they are pledging their human life. And this is my team. From left, it's Praveen Kumar, Solomon, Sujay, Ravindranath, Raj and Sumanth. To start off, uh, let me start off with the output uh, display devices. So this is our screen, screen display, which is going to display whatever the process is going on. Then getting to a sound display, this is a speaker, which is going to display the, uh, speak all the sounds. Uh, and uh, control, controlling the bot, I have two controls, one is the hardware control and one is the software control. So for the hardware control, I have a keypad which gives me high control, forward, reverse, left, right and stop. So getting back to the main bot, so this is my main uh, part of the project. So this, the main part of this project is centrifuge impeller, as you can see here. The centrifuge impeller, uh, is, uh, it, works on, it works on the vacuum uh, concept. The thing is, this vacuum, uh, has to, uh, this centrifuge impeller has to rotate at high speed. When it rotates at high speed, the circle that you see here creates a low pressure area. This low pressure area when it's placed on the wall, it's going to make sure that this bot is caught on the wall, is old on the wall or stuck on the wall. So, to rotate this centrifuge impeller at high speed, I have a motor which is 48,000 rpm. Okay. So, this, mot uh, this motor when it rotates at 48,000 rpm, it's going to create a section. So, this section will make sure this uh, bot is uh, stuck on the wall. So, how will I make this 48,000 rpm to rotate or supply is? Uh, I'll be using uh, this uh, dry batteries. So each battery gives me 12 volts and 7 amperes. So like this, I've connected here uh, three batteries and one more battery I've connected is 12 volts and 5 amperes. So, to, so totally, I'm using 12 volts and 25 amperes. So this motor, 48,000 rpm motor, can take a supply of 12 volts, constant DC 12 volts, and uh, current depends on how much of uh, the load I'm going to apply on it. So I require uh, an I uh, I section. So this uh, impeller has to rotate at high speed. So I require so much of current. And uh, other parts what this has is for the wheels because for section I have said you what is going to happen to make this board move on the wall I would want wheels so for this wheels I have 4 motors which is 60 rpm motors so each uh, motor is 60 rpm and gives me 2 kg torque which can hold uh, which can with the section can make this board run on the wall forward reverse or any directions so to get, get uh, getting back to the software controls I have this uh, android app I have a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth module so I can connect this app to the Bluetooth module and I can uh, give the software control where I have uh, going forward, reverse, left and right and stop. All these controls I have done this. And uh, one more thing, uh, one more device that I have used here is a, a wireless camera, I mean a wired camera. Okay, so this is used as in surveillance because uh, like when this uh, watch is climbing on the wall, I will have to know the paint pattern. So to know the paint pattern, I will be using this camera. So this camera output uh, is uh, displayed in this monitor. So you can see here, uh, like uh, the motor is seen here. So like this, I'll be able to using the surveillance camera, I'll be able to know uh, the paint pattern. So this application uh, goes on everywhere. And uh, coming back to the paint uh, concept, uh, so paint concept, I'll be using this uh, pump motor. Okay, so this pump motor uh, specifications is uh, it has one HP power and uh, eight feet it can pump. It can pump up to eight feet. So using that concept, uh, I'll be able to paint this on the wall. To begin with the explanation of the components which I have used in this project, the main pro the main the processor board which I have used is the MSP430 launch pad. It uses a Texas MSP430 G2452 lo uh, launcher IC. And coming back to the another uh, driver driver ICs which I use, the four gear four gear DC motors which are used in the Kolo board is uh, controlled by the two hedge bridges designed by uh, two ICs of a uh, Texas LN293D ICs. And which have, we have also got two output devices as a LCD and a voice recorder module. The voice recorder module which we have used is APR3 A3 IC and uh, LCD which to display the direction of the movement of the collaborator. And we have got the surveillance camera which uses a 5 volt DC supply and uh, we have a receiver and a TV tuner card for the display in the monitor. 
and we have got another object sensor for detection of any obstacles to the movement in the robot and we have a bluetooth module uh, designed by IC HC05 When it comes to the future enhancement of the device, the device which we have constructed till now, it, it's like it can paint a single color. And for the future enhancement of the same device, we have planned so that this device can paint the number of colors depending upon the user. And this device not only it can be used to paint the surfaces, it can also be used for the detection of cracks and uh, surveillance of the gas tankers, etc. And my personal gratitude goes to my team watch crew who put in all their efforts without whom it wouldn't have happened. And from left, it's Vishal, Ramya, Sasha, Rasagna and Chandana.